previous government and after 10 years they have handed over a debt-ridden state to us. The immediate challenge is to improve the state's financial situ situation without burdening the people. The budget gives us an opportunity st to start the path of restoration, responsibility and accountability in the management of public finance. The rebuilding process extends to institutions that have suffered in the last decade. We pledge to restore the core values of the legislature and executive, ensuring transparency, accessibility, and adherence to the constitutional principles. All the institutions that are critical to the growth and development of the state, like TSPSC and TSHRC, State Information Commission, universities, etc., will be given the space to function in a responsible manner. Agriculture has been backbone of the state providing sustenance to a significant portion of our population. The toil of our farmers has played a pivotal role in shaping the economic landscape of our state. Recognizing vital role agri agriculture plays in our so socio-economic fabric and my government is unwavering in its commitment to the welfare of our farmers. We understand the challenges they face from climate change to market functions, fluctuations and pledged to implement robust policies that ensure their prosperity. Though initiatives like, through initiatives like Raitu Barosa and Crop Loan Waiver, we aim to we empower our farming community with crop diversification programs, horticulture promotion, quality seeds, and advanced agricultural practices. Our vision is not only to enhance agricultural productivity, but also to create a sustainable and thriving environment for our farmers. Industries and service sectors are vital for the growth of economy. They also contribute significantly to creating new jobs. It is seen that the state of Telangana has massive potential for propelling industrial and service sector growth. However, the potential has only been partially utilized. My government intends to bring a completely new paradigm to supporting the two vital sectors. The government intends to introduce a new policy that will be based on a thorough study of existing ground realities, feedback from stakeholders, and taking consistence from of global best practices. Telangana will strive to become a role model state where new and existing investors face no hurdles, not only at the time of entry, but also during their continuing operations and future expansions. My government will provide high quality infrastructure and will come up with new systems to maintain the infrastructure. My government will also try to take advanced action to create a skilled workforce from amongst the local youth who can benefit from gainful employment in these sectors. The government also intends to balance regional disparities which are starkly noticeable in Telangana. Data shows that many industrial units in Telangana fall under the categories of micro, small, and medium enterprises or MSMEs. The challenges and requirements of MSMEs are quite different from those of large industries. My government will announce a new MSME policy for helping them with improved technology, the ability to recruit skilled manpower, financing market access, and the prevention of industrial sickness. An exclusive institutional mechanism will be set up by the handhold MSME, MSMEs and support their grievances. The government will also take specific measures to encourage entrepreneurship and risk taking in marginalized communities, including the SC, ST, BCs, minorities, women, persons with disabilities with they, when they choose to pursue entrepreneurial activities. My government will provide special emphasis to sectors that have been underutilized as compared to their potential like leather, potential like leather and footwear, gems and jewelry, chemicals and plastic, engineering goods, FMCG products, high value food processing, electric mobility and storage and ensure that the dedicated industrial parks and the supporting ecosystems are created for each. We will continue to support 
champion sectors like IT and pharma. My government is proposing to set up 10 to 12 pharma village clusters of extents between 1,000 to 3,000 acres, which will be away from habitations and also self-contained with facilities for effluent treatment, testing labs, logistic infrastructure, and social infrastructure for housing, education, and healthcare. Even though the new government is only a few weeks old, the Honorable Chief Minister and Honorable Minister for Industries and Commerce and IT, IT and ENC successfully led a delegation to the World Economic Forum annual meeting at Davos, Switzerland, and got a very positive response from industry leaders. Over 40,000 crores is new investment were announced addresses on the government's vision for healthcare and agriculture to the esteemed delegates during the conference. MOUs were signed in the areas of renewable energy, life sciences, man ma manufacturing, data manufacturing, data, cent data centers, food processing, IT, etc. Digital adoption is happening at a rapid pace in our society today. Telangana state not only needs to fully benefit from digital opportunities, but also become a leader in the country for new technologies. One of the most significant forthcoming initiatives of my government would be to introduce the internet as the basic right. The focus will not just be just to, just be to create digital infrastructure, but also to make it accessible and affordable to all sections of society. My government will implement a very thorough digital literacy program to ensure that every household regardless of its economic status or location, will be able to benefit from the rapid digital adoption of opportunities that are arising. My government is determined to harness the power of new technology, particularly the artificial intelligence. We will position Hyderabad and Telangana as the AI capital of the country by inviting the top global and national technology comp companies to set up their AI centers. We will set up a dedicated AI city in 50 to 100 acres. With an inclusive approach and targeted planning and execution, I am confident that my government will be able to fully unlock the potential that industries and services sectors offer to the people of Telangana, and I am also confident that the initial results will be visible within few months. My government has set skill training and vocational education as top priority. The address to address skill gaps and meet the requirements of industry for 4.0 advanced technology centers and an estimated project cost of about rupees. 2,000 crores. These centers will offer NCVT approved long-term and short-term courses in high-demand trades and will benefit nearly 1 lakh youth of Telangana. Telangana has been meeting its energy needs predominantly through coal. In order to optimize the cost of power, meet the demand profile of the state and increase the energy share from clean energy, the Telangana government will come up with a comprehensive energy policy to promote all types of green energy, that is solar, wind, hybrid, solar and wind, and we all store, and well as well as storage, pumped or battery, to meet peak requirement. The government aims to improve the share of green energy significantly and reduce carb carbon emission by 2030. As we gather here to discuss the future trajectory of our beloved state, it is imperative to highlight the immense tourism potential that Telangana possesses. Our state, Nestle, the heart of India, is not only known for its rich history and vibrant culture, but also boasts a plethora of tourist attractions that can enhance visitors from far and wide. Telangana is a treasure trove of architectural marvels with historical monuments and structures that tell tales of Vayon era from the majestic Charminar, a symbol of 
Hyderabad's heritage to the intricately carved thousand pillar temple and Ramappa temple in Varangal, our state offers a journey through time, showcasing the architectural prowess of our ancestors. The revitalization and preservation of these structures are not only a testament to our commitment to heritage, but also a source to pride, source of pride uh, for every Telanganite. The vast network of reservoirs in Telangana adds to the scenic beauty and offer recreational opportunities for tourists. Lakes like the Hussein Sagar, Laknavaram and Ramapa are not only sources of water but also serve as picturesque destinations for boating and relaxation. The government is committed to developing these reservoirs into eco-friendly tourism hubs, promoting sustainable practices and preserving the natural beauty of these water bodies. Telangana is also home to a myriad of temples, each with its unique architectural style and spiritual significance. The renowned Patrachalam temple dedicated to Lord Rama and the historic Velumulavada temple are just a glimpse of the religious diversity that our state encapsulates. Our commitment to Preserving and promoting these sacred sites will not only attract pilgrim pilgrims, but also a facet of its art and the architecture. My government will come out with a comprehensive tourist policy for the promotion and preservation of our architectural wonders, cul culinary delights, reservoirs, and temples. The tourist policy will not only boost the economy, but also showcase the true essence of Telangana to the world. I encourage all stakeholders to collaborate in harnessing this tourism potential, ensuring that Telangana becomes a must-visit de destination for travelers seeking a unique blend of history, culture, and natural beauty. Today, we have turned our back to the River Musi. Our goal is to bring everyone back to the river. The government will be undertaking a large-scale redevelopment of the Musi River front. Musi will once again become a lifeline of Hyderabad, and the entire urban landscape around it will be rejuvenated. The project will have components of transport networks connecting the eastern and the western parts of the city, clean, flowing water, and the river front beautification, riverfront beautification. The Musi Riverfront project will create people's plazas, pedestrian zones, hawker areas, and green spaces all across the city. It will revitalize old heritage-rich parts of the city and make them more accessible. We are studying national and international model, models to onboard the best practices and teams to work on the or this. The Musi, the Musi Riverfront Development Project seeks to drive ecological and economic transformation on a scale and in, and in a time frame that has not been attempted before. In our pursuit of a brighter and more prosperous Telangana, the government has recognized the pivotal role that employability and sports infrastructure play in shaping the future of our youth. Understanding the need for a skilled and empowered workforce, my government is committed to establishing skilled universities across the state. These skilled universities will serve as centers of excellence, equipping our youth with the necessary knowledge and expertise to meet the demands of the rapidly evolving job market. By focusing on skill development, we aim to bridge the gap between education and employment, ensuring that our youth are not just academically proficient, but also industry ready. Furthermore, acknowledging the importance of sports in fostering a healthy and vibrant society, the government is dedicated to enhancing sports infrastructure in Telangana. We believe that the physically active and sports orient oriented youth contribute not only to individual well-being, but also the overall development of the state. Plans are underway to establish state-of-art sports facilities, 
nurture local talent and provide a platform for aspiring athletes to excel on national and international stages. Through these initiatives, we aim to create a condu conducive environment for sports enthusiasts and pave the way for Telangana to emerge as a powerhouse in the sporting arena. As we invest in the establishment of skilled universities and bolster sports infrastructure, we envision a Telangana where every young individual will be equipped with skills to thrive in the professional world and where sports become an integral part of our culture fabric. These endeavors align with our commitment to holistic development, ensuring that the youth of Telangana not only contribute to the economic growth of the state, but also lead healthy and fulfilling lives. This Telangana government has decided to con conduct Kulakanana caste survey by taking up door-to-door -door household survey with the goal of eliciting the data requiring to estimate the social, economical, educational, employment, and potential opportunities for various castes in general and BCs in particular. Justice will be delivered to all sections of society that have faced discrimination and oppression. The government will consider the needs of farmers, students, employees, the poor, SC, ST, BC, minorities, retired employees, martyrs' families, and others in its welfare and development initiatives. The Telangana will envision, the Telangana vision is one, where democracy thrives, fundamental rights are protected, and the spirit of Dr. B.R. Ambedkar